Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Arcade Classics Cubert and Centipede Mini Arcade Machines from the Bridge Direct. These are awesome. I was really excited when I started seeing these pop up in stores. Uh, these are mini arcade machines that can actually play the video games that the arcade machines resemble. Uh, these are really great, and I gotta give a very special thanks to the folks at the Bridge Direct for sending these along so I can get a good look at them. I'm gonna open these out of the box and take a look at them here. Uh, you can see really fun packaging that has a window box that fully showcases the machines. The back even has a great image of the machines here that gives you like a little description of both of the games there. These are Try Me boxes, so if you've already picked these up in the stores or seen them, you know that you can press the button here, and it actually gives you a little Try Me screen there. But what's so great about these is these aren't just like little like LCD games. Do you hear the music? Do you hear the music playing on these already? The sound effects? These are actual games, like little video games are built in here. So we're playing actual ports of Cubert and Centipede on these little mini machines. That is so awesome. So I'm going to get these opened up out of the boxes so we can take a closer look at the games and the little uh, consoles themselves and see how they measure up. Alright, so check these guys out outside of the package. First of all, I absolutely love the design of these things. If I bring in the tape measure here, you can see that the cabinets stand right at about 6 inches in height. And they're really, really fun designs. They're a little flatter, of course, than the machines would be, uh, you know, at real size, the real arcade machines. But they did a good job of capturing, like, that very arcade cabinet feel. You got this great artwork all the way down the side. It's bright and colorful and vibrant. Uh, you know, all the stickers are applied very nicely on there. Check that out. Got the big start button on the Qbert. You got your joystick there. Uh, you have the on and off button down in the front here where like the coin slots would be. You also have a volume button there. And you can see our big speakers down here, which is where the sound would actually come out of. And the back of the, the cabinets here has a battery compartment. These do take three AA batteries and batteries are included. So that's really nice. But it's very easy to swap the batteries in and out on these. So Qbert looks great. Centipede all also looks very, very nice. Love that classic artwork coming down the side of the cabinet there. You can see the overall shape and design is the same on both cabinets, uh, but just really, really great deco all the way around. And they make for just really nice display pieces on their own. And, you know, in that scale, uh, of course, the first thing I thought of was, like, putting them with your action figures. Now, since they stand right at 6 inches, they might be a little small for your 6-inch scale figures, but I don't know if you want to bring in some of your, your smaller figures here. Here, like, I'll bring in some, like, a Mega Man and Samus and Link and kind of stand them in there just to give you a scale reference so you can see where those guys would stand up. So, you know, if you want to buy some little arcade cabinets for your action figures to play, that could be a lot of fun to actually display them that way on your shelf. So very, very cool. Now, they look nice, but of course, the fun thing about these is that you can actually play the games. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gameplay here. So in order to power them up, all you do is press the on-off button here on the bottom, and that will actually boot up our game. So you can actually see it loaded up here. Now I will say the screen is very bright and colorful and clear. Uh, my studio lights might actually be dimming that just a little bit. So it might not be coming across on camera as nice as it actually looks. But um, when you're just looking at this with the naked eye, it looks really good. I was very, very impressed with it. And it's an actual port of the game, like I was saying. Um, I don't think it's the arcade specific one, but maybe like... Um, Maybe like the NES port or something, one of those home console ports. That seems to be exactly what's going on in here. So you can see we got our start button, our fire button, and then our move button. This will control the volume. So you have three levels. It'll just get louder and louder as you press it, or you can silence it completely. So let's go ahead and start this up so you guys can check it out. You see I can turn the volume all the way up there. Or I can mute it like I just did. So check that out. I'm actually moving it around. Alright, get some centipede action! And you know, you gotta use your thumbs, of course, to control it. So it's a tiny little joystick, but I'm really impressed with how fluid it moves. It works. I mean, it's very playable. It's a very playable game. Alright, check that out. I'm rocking it. So now I'm just gonna stop reviewing and just keep playing because I'm super into this. <laughs> This is awesome. I love it. 
Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Awesome. So I'll just go ahead and stop it there. Now, when you're done with it, all you got to do is hit the little power button down here, and that turns it back off. And that way you can just set it back up on your shelf. Let's go and bring Qbert over now. Uh, this is the one I think that's my favorite. I love this one right here. So same thing. Hit that power button right there. It boots it up for us. We got the little uh, the load screen there. Um, and again, we just have our start pause button here. And then Qbert just needs the joystick to hop around. Look at that. It even has like our instructions and everything on there. How cool is that? In fact, the colors on Qbert even look a little bit brighter, I'd say, than Centipede. This one really, really uh, just looks bright and clean. I love it. All right, here we go. Boot it up. Of course, I can increase the volume if I want to, or I can mute it even. There we go. Here we go. Come on, Cubert. Oh, terrible. I'm not. I've never been good at Cubert. Like, I like Cubert and I appreciate it. I am not good at this game. <laughs> Come on, let's see if I can finish one. Oh, well, I jumped right on that guy. That was that was a bad move on my part. Here we go. But you guys see how well this works? I mean, you just got to get used to the little tiny joystick, basically, for your thumb. But it works perfect. I mean, the controls work exactly as you would expect them to. He's moving where I'd want him to move. Look at that. Oh, except I'm bad at this. So that's, here we go. One more. Come on. I'll complete it. There we go. Really, really cool stuff. So again, you want to power it off. You can either pause, you know, you got the pause button on Qbert, but you can also just hit that and it powers it down and then you can put it back up on your shelf. So I love these. I think these are really, really great. They're awesome little collection pieces. They're going to make for neat little displays in your game room or wherever you want to put them. But the fact that they can also be played and that they function like that, they're not like just LCD screens that we often see, uh, you know, just like the like the little handhelds or like the old Tiger Electronics or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice bright screen that has an actual port of a playable video game on there and I think that is so so very cool so really good stuff from basic fun and the bridge direct I think they did a wonderful job with these and I again want to give a very special thanks to them for sending these along so we can get a good look at them outside of the box here on this video these are showing up in stores now I've already seen them at places like Walmart and I believe they retail around the $20 mark and they are totally worth it at that price so happy hunting my friends and hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.